What's up, YouTube? Back at it again. Oh, I got dirty hands, burn marks, all kinds of shit going on. Uh, I got a little bit of the uh, Jeep put back together so far. Looks more stock. Headliner is in. I got to get the um, visors mounted and got the dash in again. I got the center console in. That top piece from center console, I'm going to rewrap that with suede because it doesn't match the black that I painted everything. New seats. Oh, yeah, new seats. Um, that one's in for now. The dry or the pasture one is well, over there, ready to go. Um, just waiting for some of to show up so I can mount them. So I'm leaving the pasture side out, obviously, so I can get in and get into the box and mount them. So, um, in the rear here, a few things going on. We got all the speaker wires ran and labeled coming out. It's a whole lot of wire. It's um, 12 woofers. Um, every coil has a lead going to the amp. So, because everything's parallel, I might as well do double up on 8 gauge. So, um, actually, before I walk away, let's see here. So, up here, got these, these square tabs with holes in them. Same as a way to fuck over there and a way to fuck over here. And on the, on the bottom down here, too, it's too dark to probably see. But the spacing, so it's a half inch plate. So the batteries will sit on this and bolt into these holes. And so that it won't run into the speaker wire because these will, the batteries will actually end right about here. So right up the middle is where the speaker wire comes out. So didn't want any of these wires pinched. So zip tied them up nice and laid them flat. So everything clears. So the batteries just sit right up against these on both sides. So that's ready to go. I just have to mount them in. They'll probably be, whoopsie, mounted in tomorrow. Um, I mean, my father, since I can't pick these up individually, they're fucking, I don't know, 300 plus pounds a piece. Fucking huge, huge fucking C Max. 144 cell, large C Max, brand new, freshy fresh from John over at Prodigy Audio, Prodigy Machine which used to be the old T3 guy, which also is coming off his new lineup soon of subs, I believe. So we'll see about that. Oh, my beard is all raggedy. I've been like this all day, fucking on the ground, putting together seats and shit. So, I mean, small updates, little things are being done. Slow progress, but since the last time you guys seen it, um, dash was fully taken out. Dented underneath all that. Did some more dent on the roof, some more on the floor. Put it all back together. Did all the doors, done the doors. So the doors are ready for, so I put the panels back in just to see what they look like. But I'm gonna do panel delete through this line here and then this line contour here below will be deleted from here up will be factory. Two eights, two three and a halfs and two tweeters uh, per door. Wiring's all ran and everything. It's just laying up underneath the carpet. I'll pull it back real quick and push it through the grommet. When we get to that part of the fabrication for the doors, but just kind of had an idea of what the car would look like with some of the panel. Factory panels back in the look factory from uh, B pillar forward. So also with the aftermarket seats, still retained factory seat systems, factory fa or the factory seat belt uh, system. So bolt in factory locations all the way down, bolted to the this end to the thing here, and then also save the factory plug which bolted into this bracket on the seat here so factory seat belt bada bing bada boom everything's legal and factory and clean stock cabin like i said it's gonna be fucking gnarly so kind of the update right now um subs we still don't know when the sddns will be here those will be built by uh Dan Horner at DTX. I'm part of DTX. So the only thing he's different he's doing than what Sundown would do is he's taking fresh baskets, obviously, and fresh motors, because we're waiting for motors, SDDNs, but same baskets. And then um, carbon fiber, all fully carbon fiber cones and dust caps and X Spider packs, because since we have such a tight seal space, it's kind of what I recommend, what I know, is to get a little, a little com less compliance on the sub because we have so much cone control and power control in this fourth order so it should work out really well 
Should do at least a 70, I hope. Otherwise, I'm throwing this fucker in Lake Minnetonka and calling it done. So, <laughs> anyways, that's a quick update for now. Next video, I'll just take a video of me not facing the camera and be a little cooler. So, there we go.